Okay, so you want to know how to make peanut butter with zero electricity? This is how you do it. So I used about this much, because I had to cut it in half. I used about that much to make this here. I'm almost, I'm almost done with it. And I'll show you what it's like at the very end, but it's looking very similar to peanut butter now, so it definitely works. It's a very simple um, process. You just need peanuts and a bit of salt, like a little pinch of salt. This is enough for one serving. I don't know if you want to make this, um, you know, serving by serving or make a big batch. It's up to you, but I'm just going to make it piece by piece for now. Um, that's it. Most people are using blenders and whatnot. I don't have that. Um, well, I do, but I don't want to use it. I'm off grid. We're using uh, off grid methods. I actually found th rubbing it back and forth, you can actually hear the moisture coming out is one of the best methods as it goes forward but it does take a long time and I wasn't going to bore you guys with like a million uh, minutes of this so I'll uh, just finish up and show you the final product okay so this is the final product look at that it's starting to look like peanut butter it is a little bit um, chunkier than you know normal peanut butter get that skin out of there um, but as you can see the consistency while you weren't looking I did go ahead and add a little bit of um, almond sorry almond olive oil so that does help to get you the right consistency to whatever you're, you're sort of used to unless you use a high power blender you're not going to get um, it super juicy by itself you're going to have to add something so there you go how to make off grid peanut butter how to make peanut butter without electricity I'm going to spread this on and give you one final shot of this lovely sandwich before I go one love. Oh my gosh, folks, look at this. We are living the American dream. Off-grid peanut butter and jelly. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It does look a bit like concrete, but that's okay. It makes you wonder, though, about the other stuff. that they put, like, orange food dye in it or something? So, right, here's the final test. I'm going to taste it and see what it's like. Taste test number one. Oh my god. Oh, it tastes like fucking shit. Oh, no. This is fucking nasty. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Shit, that's, that doesn't taste good. No, don't make this. I'm just joking. It's not too bad. I was gonna, I was gonna actually pretend like it was totally shit and then end the video, but I could do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, don't, don't do this. Just go to the store and just buy the normal peanut butter. This stuff is too good. It's a secret. Only few should have. And you too will be living the American dream. No matter where you are. Let me know if you want me to make some jelly next time. A bit of off-grid, no electricity jelly. Yum yum. And then we'll make some of our own bread. And we'll literally have the first off-grid peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Don't know if anyone's actually beat me to it. I'm sure no one's even here. No one ever watches the end of the video. Not right, kitty. Meow. Say goodbye, kitty. Say goodbye, Luna. Oh my goodness. Luna. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say bye. Bye.